All right, here we are. It is Sunday, June 5th, 2016. It's about 10:10 uh, 10, 10 in the evening, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and crack a, another Johnny Lightning. I got the little little one to bed a couple hours ago. Did some things down here I wanted to do, and uh, decided what the heck. We'll go through the uh, the mystery box and crack another. Now, to be honest, the mystery box is getting a little thin. I think we got a dozen or so left, and then uh, we'll be done. So, what we'll move on to next, I don't know. Have to start buying some other ones, I guess. So today we've got the '63 Corvette. Um, there it is. I would move the camera, but I've got it kind of at the perfect angle, um, so you can see the box. But uh, the card, uh, age of six and up. Why I don't know. Uh, but you notice this says age of six and up right here. Under here it says not for children under three. So which is it? Now my three-year-old grandson gets anything and has for a year or so and uh, I guess if you watch him close enough you don't have to worry about him chewing off wheels and all that and he's really good with his cars so uh, here's the back of it now as far as this particular series which this is the uh, Corvette collection um, came out in 2000 looks like this card's kind of boogered up but you had a 54 Corvette the 63 which is this one here you also had a 63 Grand Sport a 65 a 70 and a 98 so, and this is just the regular 63. So go ahead and crack it here. First one with the card. Nothing on the back, but here's the card. Uh, just Corvette collection. There you go. What it looks like. And then here's what the car looks like. Now these are kind of the, uh, I mean they are plastic, but you notice they have that ridge on them. Uh, these are how they originally made them. A little faster. It is an all metal base. But uh, plastic tire, opening hood, which it does open the correct way. There we go. You got some detail in there. And it shuts pretty nicely. Of course, you got the, the vents. On the front, you've got the emblem, all that good stuff. Uh, interior, pretty nice actually. For uh, you know, they've got the correct dash. You got your Corvette emblem right there. Of course, you got painted door handles, and you actually even have uh, these are not glass or plastic, rather, uh, but little wings at the front. Of course, you got the split window. Corvette. Uh, paint. I don't know if you can tell. It's not the greatest. Yeah, you can tell. See how it's all lumpy? Actually, it's just on the roof. The rest of it looks pretty good. It's kind of dull on the side, and that could be from the packaging. I mean, this package is pretty, pretty rough, so. And the wheels, uh, they're pretty correct. I mean, not really for the picture. But, eh, Corvette-ish. I've seen them on vets before. There it is. Go ahead and get her spinning. It is moving slow. Again, I've mentioned this before. I think it's about to die. I cleaned off the little solar panels on it, thinking maybe they were just dirty, but nah, it's about to die. I have to buy another one. They're like four or five bucks. I had a lot of requests. You know, where did you get it at? eBay from China. Oops. Moving the camera with the chair. Anyway, eBay from China. Um, they're like four bucks shipped or something. Uh, this it normally comes clear. And I went over this before in other videos, so I'll we'll take the car off for, for a moment. It comes clear like that, and it's just all clear. And I just took some crinkle paint, that's all that is, um, about three coats or so, and let it dry for a couple of days, because it didn't really want to stick to this plastic, but I knew it would be fine. I'm not going to be rough with it or anything, but it doesn't come off or anything like that. Um, and that's what that is. The reason why I did that is because I didn't like the look of the clear, first of all, and I didn't want the cars to roll off. And being the crinkle paint, it uh, kind of uh, prevents them from rolling off. Actually, it definitely, it's not kind, it definitely prevents them from rolling off. So that's where I got it from. Just search for rotating display stand. And I mention that about every six months or so, and I still have a lot of questions. Of course, not everybody watches every video, but Rotating display stand on eBay. You'll see them pop up. They're clear. Um, they have them in white, but I think the, the base is still clear. 
Um, and if you want to, you know, get the car from prevent it from rolling off, go ahead and squirt some crinkle paint on there. Probably any paint would do if it's thick. Um, globbed on there. But I thought the crinkle paint made it look more professional, I guess. So that's it. That's the display stand. If anybody wants to know. And it's solar powered now, which means you're going to have to have uh, fluorescent lighting for it. Which uh, my dental lamp has a fluorescent ring with that LED center bulb. Um, that's why it's so bright. The fluorescent, excuse me, fluorescent portion of it is not very bright. But you need that. Just the LED bulb will not turn this. It will not work on the solar. So hmm. anyway, that is it. Get kind of tired. It's about 10 20. Yeah, 10 18. Been doing this one long enough. That's it. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.